This simulation demonstrates the potential outcomes of a nuclear war between the United States and Russia. The fear of atomic warfare this recent warning has rekindled past anxieties about the consequences of nuclear conflict. Questions arise about which cities would be targeted and how many lives would be lost in such a devastating scenario. Simulation by Princeton's Global Security Program in 2019 The Science and Global Security Program at Princeton University conducted a simulation to envision the course of a thermonuclear confrontation between the United States and Russia. Entrapped in a global conflict, this simulated scenario involves multiple countries, particularly those where NATO maintains military bases, becoming entangled in the conflict. Initial strike. 2.6 million casualties according to the Princeton simulation, Russia would initiate the conflict, launching approximately 300 nuclear warheads and short-range missiles at NATO bases and troops. In response, NATO would retaliate with around 180 warheads deployed by aircraft, targeting Russian objectives. The estimated casualty count within the first three hours would reach 2.6 million. Subsequent strike. 3.4 million casualties with Europe devastated. NATO launches 600 warheads from American soil and submarine-based missiles, aiming at Russian nuclear forces. Russia counters with missile attacks from silos, submarines, and mobile vehicles. This stage of the conflict, lasting only 45 minutes, results in an estimated 3.4 million casualties. Final stage. Complete annihilation following Princeton University's simulation, both NATO and Russia escalate by targeting vital economic and population centers, hindering the adversary's recovery. Each city is struck by 5 to 10 nuclear warheads. In a mere 45 minutes, this thermonuclear warfare would claim the lives of 85.3 million people. Death Toll 34.1 million The study estimates that a nuclear war would immediately impact 91.5 million people, leading to 34.1 million deaths and 57.4 million injuries within the initial 4 to 5 hours. Resembling Hiroshima, the aftermath of this conflict would resemble the devastation witnessed in Hiroshima in 1945 when the United States dropped an atomic bomb, obliterating an entire city and resulting in over 800,000 deaths and approximately 70,000 injuries. The long-term impact of radiation exposure would further increase the death toll over subsequent years. Preemptive strike strategy The Princeton University simulation is based on the assumption that in a conflict between Russia and the United States, Moscow would launch a nuclear strike first. However, if the United States were to initiate the attack, the projected outcome would be largely similar. The scenario presented aligns with NATO's defensive strategy against Russian aggression. A predictable war during a nuclear war, there is limited scope for intervention. The conflict unfolds with predetermined actions, leaving minimal time to avert an apocalyptic outcome. Mutual Assured Destruction, MAD The fragile principle that maintained peace during the Cold War between the United States and Russia was Mutual Assured Destruction, commonly referred to as MAD. It revolved around the notion that neither side would dare initiate an attack, as the consequences would be mutually devastating. 1 plus 1 equals 0, renowned nuclear scientist John von Neumann famously expressed the concept in mathematical terms as, 1 plus 1 equals 0. He received the Freedom Medal from President Eisenhower in 1956, underscoring the significance of this principle. The Doomsday Machine fans of the movie, Dr. Strangelove, may recall the portrayal of the Doomsday Machine, a Soviet supercomputer programmed to launch a nuclear strike if the US initiated a war. Surprisingly, a 2009 NPR report revealed the existence and functionality of a real-life equivalent. War Games Another notable example is the 1983 film, War Games, directed by John Badham. The storyline revolves around the challenge of halting a military supercomputer after it starts executing its attack protocols. The only winning move is not to play, in, War Games, the supercomputer engages in a game of tic-tac-toe against itself and realizes that there is no way to win such a game. The famous quote, the only winning move is not to play, encapsulates this discovery. Reality versus Hollywood however, real-life conflicts differ significantly from Hollywood movies, especially in terms of war. Once a conflict begins, it becomes difficult to predict its outcome, as seen in recent cases such as Iraq and Afghanistan. The threat of nuclear apocalypse during the 1980s, the fear of a nuclear apocalypse loomed large. Is the world regressing towards such a scenario? Will humanity transition from a global pandemic to a new world war? Advocating for peace currently, 
The prospect of a nuclear war remains a hypothetical scenario explored by Princeton University. Let us hope that it never becomes a reality and instead strive for peace. Thanks for watching.